Okay guys, sorry about that. While I was filming my Shrink My Stash Empties video, my phone ran out of memory because I take too many pictures of my kid. So this will be my first ever two-part empties video. If you want to see the first half, I will link it down below. And I'm going to start off with the product I was talking about when my first video cut off. And that is this deep cleansing soap um, in Coastal Water Lily. The notes on here are watery pear, seagrass, and sea salt musk. Um, I really, really liked this one, but to me, there is no, like, I don't, it's called water lily, even though there's no lily note listed, because there is no floral scent. I don't know why they're calling it coastal water lily. Um, I don't get any pear. I certainly don't get seagrass or sea salt musk. Um, to me, it smelled almost like candy. It was a really sweet, like, rock candy scent. Um, I really liked it, but the name and the notes are just so far off that I don't know where they came from. But I would repurchase it because I really like the scent. Alright, so moving on here. I have another clamshell from Sensationals. This is Strawberries and Cream. This is one of my favorites. I know I had mentioned in earlier videos some kind of over fruity scents in the house. And that can kind of be said for this as well. I mean, even smelling it now, it's not really my favorite for the house. But it's such a great scent that I think I would like it more maybe mid to late summer. This is a really fresh but still fruity scent, kind of sweet. I ended up using it early spring. I liked it, wasn't in love with it, so I might repurchase it, but I think I would only use it a very specific time of year. I do have another lotion here. This is actually the sample size, the two ounce, Paris in Bloom, from the same collection as the Sweet on Paris that I showed you in the first part of this video. But um, I Sweet on Paris is one of my all-time favorite scents. I did not like the other two in this collection, the Paris in Bloom and Paris Nights. This to me is the definition of old lady floral. Um, it's just, it's so heavy and strong and there's nothing fresh to it at all. So I am glad to see that gone. I think that was the last thing I had in that scent. I am not going to miss it at all. And I obviously would not repurchase. Next is my first completely empty mahogany teak wood spray. I think I had, or um, I mean, ugh, my words. My first ever completely empty room spray in mahogany teak wood. Um, I had an empty in one video before that was the Tropical Spice, but it wasn't actually empty. It just ran away with my sister. Um, this one is actually empty. I almost never finish these because what's happened for years past, I'm sorry, my dishwasher is old and pathetic, so it's getting really loud as it tries to finish washing. Um, what usually happens with these is that the little white cap falls off and disappears and then I can't use it. So I end up throwing them away before they're empty. So I was pretty proud of myself for actually finishing one off before breaking it. I do like mahogany teak wood and I would absolutely repurchase that. Um, but at my current rate of using room sprays and how many I have, I don't think I need to buy another room spray for like 10 years. Then I have a little pocket back here. This is Comet's Ginger Mint. I do have a few winter products in my empties here that I was kind of finishing off as I transition to spring. I like this one. I like ginger scents. I like mint scents. I think the ginger could have been a stronger scent in here. And there's Nefertari coming to say hi. Um, you want to smell it? But it, it was good. I would repurchase it if it came back. I liked it. Then I have a mini candle here. This is in Spiced Apple Toddy. Um, it's a decent fragrance. It's just your average cinnamon apple. This one's a little heavier than they usually are. But it had very, very little throw even in the bathroom. So I would not repurchase that. And it wasn't really my favorite scent anyway. Now here is a lip product. I think I've only ever had one of these before in my videos. This is the Lip Smacker in Fanta Strawberry. And it's not actually done. It's about half done, but I've got all my lip products in the bottom drawer in my bathroom. And when I have to take my son to the bathroom with me to keep an eye on him, he likes to open that drawer and play with my lip products. And he usually just 
takes them out of the container, then puts them back in, takes them out again, you know, average one-year-old entertainment. But this one, when he picked it up, I guess the cap was not all the way and the cap fell off and he started eating the, uh, yeah, that's why it's all gross looking. And I just don't want to use it after it's been a one-year-old snack. I don't know. That's gross. So that's gone. I'm not overly attached to it. It's cheap and old and I just don't care. I have another pocket back here in Lavender Blossom. This was amazing. Super true, fresh lavender scent. Um, little sweet, so it's not too too herbal, but really good. Uh, my boyfriend and I both loved it. I have several of those left, and if it were to come back, I would stock up again. It's a great scent. Then I finished a little travel lotion here in Beautiful Day. Now, this is not that old. This is from 2013, so it should have still been good but something went wrong. Um, it was probably full up to here, and it took me several days to get it to run to the top. It was so thick and like almost grainy, and then I couldn't squeeze it out of the bottle. Like I would sit there and squeeze, and it was so thick it wouldn't come out. Um, it was just weird, but I hate wasting product. So to be honest, I added water to it, used it to shave my legs, and then it was gone. I do like the scent Beautiful Day. Um, I'll tell you what it smells like. And I don't know, I don't, I don't think I've heard anybody else say this, but Beautiful Day is the exact same scent as the L'Oreal Kids Tear-Free Detangler Spray in Pear. Comes in the little green bottle, it looks like a fish. Same exact scent. So it's kind of nostalgic for me because I grew up using that on my hair, but it's not like one of my favorites to wear on my body because it smells so young to me because of that. It's a decent scent. That particular lotion had just gone bad. Then I have a pocket back here in Cupcakes Lemon Glaze. I know it's going to be hard to see that on this reflective label here. This smelled a lot like the current Limoncello. I apologize for the dishwasher. Um, just a clean, slightly sweet lemon scent. It was okay. Um, it's no different than the other lemon scents, so... I would just repurchase one of those and it's all the same to me. Next I have a mason jar candle in Vanilla Bean Noel. Um, quite a lot of wax left at the bottom of this one, but the wick put itself out. A little bit of soot at the top, if you can see that. It smells perfect in the jar, but very, very light throw. Um, I've talked about that before, that's just expected with Vanilla Bean Noel. I had it in the bathroom, and you could really only smell it if you were standing, like, at the counter right next to it. I don't think I would repurchase the Vanilla Bean Noel in that size. I try the three wicks every year. I'll probably keep trying them, but they rarely have throw. Then I have a little tart here in True Rose from Yankee. I really like this scent. Um, I think I have one candle left in it, and last time I burned it, it had a decent throw. But to be honest, I didn't get any throw out of that tart at all. So I'm not repurchasing Yankee right now anyway, so would not repurchase. This is a 719 Walnut Avenue three wick from Walmart in Peppermint Twist. Of course, this is meant to be Twisted Peppermint from Bath and Body Works. Burned great, no soot, burned evenly all the way down. No throw. Um, and even on cold, it almost has like a chocolate note to it now, which I didn't get before I burned it. But once I burned it, it got kind of chocolatey, which is weird. Um, very little throw. Just wasn't a big fan of that. Wouldn't repurchase it. This is another travel, or not travel, trial size, the two ounce instead of the three, in Moonlight Magic. Um, this was the original release of Secret Wonderland. Exact same scent, same notes and everything. Not my favorite scent. Wasn't particularly attached to it, so I would not repurchase it but I didn't dislike it. I have a four ounce here in Bellini Cafe. This had a great burn, a great throw. Um, sparkling berry, juicy apple, and sugared grape. And that's what it was. It was it was that, but it was boozy. It had like that effervescent wine note to it. Really strong, really liked it. I would repurchase that if it were to come back. Okay, we're getting close to the end here, guys, which is good because I think my baby's starting to wake up. Here's a three wick in the White Barn, Lavender Vanilla. This was amazing, had a great throw. Again, we really love lavender scents. The bottom there's kind of messed up just because the wicks went out at different times. Um, but this was a great candle. I would absolutely repurchase it. Again, we, we love lavender scents. 
go through these last ones kind of quick. Um, the foaming hand soap in Honolulu Sun. This was originally my sister's, and then when she moved out, I put it at my boyfriend's sink, because you all know I hate coconut. They both liked it. I hated it. I would not repurchase it. Um, I had one of these in the first half of this video, a crystal water spray and tulip. Same deal as the other one. It had scent to it, but it dissipated almost as soon as you put it on. So I just used it as a linen spray when I made our bed and before we went to bed at night. Here's a pocket back in Blue Skies and Blooms. It was okay. It was clean. Um, didn't hate it. Didn't love it. Probably wouldn't repurchase it. A pocket back in Candy Cane Bliss. This is amazing. Um, it's not Twisted Peppermint. This is sweeter. This is more peppermint candy as opposed to pure peppermint oil like Twisted Peppermint tends to be. I liked it. I will absolutely repurchase it. Another Yankee Tart here in Ocean Star. Had no scent, so I couldn't tell you if I liked it or not. Won't repurchase. Finished a Travel Size Shower Gel in Winter Candy Apple. I love that scent. I've talked about it in previous videos. I will continue to repurchase it. Also, Winter Candy Apple Hand Cream. These are hard for... Oh, there's a cap in there. These are hard for me to finish, but I did really enjoy it, and I would repurchase it. I finished a Lush Bath Balm. Finished, used, one use. Um, this was in Guardians of the Forest. I liked the scent. It made the water super pretty. As for repurchasing, I buy Lush products very rarely. They're a special treat to myself. Um... Like once a year, I'll buy three or four bath bombs and use them over the course of a few months. And then that's it till the next time I really treat myself. But I like them. They're good. They're just ridiculously expensive. Another wax cube clamshell here in frankincense and myrrh. This was just um, kind of a sweet, spicy cologne scent. I wasn't a huge fan. I don't like that sweetness in my cologne scents. So I would not repurchase that. Here is an iced gingerbread. Um, sorry, my camera's doing something really weird now, but I hope it's still filming. Iced gingerbread I do enjoy and I would repurchase. I went through several gingerbread scents this year. I feel a little burned out on it now, but I feel like next winter or the winter after that, I would repurchase just because I need to kind of take a break from it, but it was good. A Tis the Season pocket back. Loved this. I love Tis the Season. This was amazing. An apple, cinnamon, evergreen scent. I finished off a lot of pocket bags, didn't I? Um, great scent. I will absolutely repurchase it. Finished a Sweet on Paris 2-ounce trial size. I talked about this in the first half of this video. One of my all-time favorite scents. Really sweet. A little bit of a bakery note. A little bit of a berry note. Absolutely amazing. Needs to come back. Sad to see them go. Finished off a wallflower here. It says tis the season on the... Top. I, that's because that's one I have in now. I just put that top on this. This was Winter Garland. It was okay. It was kind of a spicy cinnamon evergreen scent. I'm over the wallflowers. I have five left. Very old ones. Once those five burn, I won't be using them anymore. I'm not repurchasing them. So that's that. I have another pocket back here in Be Good Honey Vanilla. This is my all-time favorite pocket back scent. I absolutely love this scent. Love it. Um... It needs to come back in. It needs to be in body care. I would buy all of it. I would stock up. Amazing scent. They haven't done anything like this before or since. Love it. And I think I have like one or two left, but that's an amazing scent. Then I have one more Yankee Tart in Fluffy Towels. I love this scent, but the tart had no throw. Big surprise. And finally, my last empty product, another pocket back. I had no idea I finished off this many in the past, like, two weeks. That's insane. Um, but this is Home Run Green Grass. It's exactly what it says. It smells like you just mowed the lawn. I really enjoyed it. I like that scent. I have a couple more of these, and if they brought it back, I would absolutely repurchase. So that is it. That's the second half of my empties video. Thank you all for watching, and I will hopefully be back in a couple weeks with another one. Bye!